Oh, I am truly, truly honored to be here. I am from Atlanta, Georgia, and I say that proudly. I repeat, I am from Atlanta, Georgia, and I say that proudly. If you're, if you're from Atlanta, Georgia, you may be familiar with a young man who grew up not far from here. His name was Martin King. Now, now I know this is the part where usually it's a black minister in front of you, and usually you get all warm and cozy inside, and usually you hear about I have a dream, and us holding hands and going for ice cream. That's not why I'm here today. I'm not here to talk about um, benevolent politicians that are going to come and save the day for you. I'm not here to talk about a dream that we think is unattainable so we settle for less. I'm not here to talk about a utopian society where everyone is forgiven and no one has to pay for past debts. I'm talking about what I'm talking about today is the Martin King post the Washington March. Martin King present the war on poverty. Martin King against the war machine that uses your sons and your nephews to go to other lands and murder. I'm talking about a revolutionary. I have no time in my short 40 years on this earth to relive the Reagan years. I have no time, I have I have no, no desire to see us elect our own Margaret Thatcher. I am here as a proponent for a political revolution that says health care is a right of every citizen. I'm here because working class and poor people deserve a chance at economic freedom. And yes, if you work 40 hours a week, you should not be in poverty. That's why I'm here. I didn't come here to lollygag because I rap. This could be y'all last time seeing me because I got tours to go on. I got jets to fly on and I ain't lying on. But while I'm here, I have to tell you that in my heart of hearts, in my heart of hearts, I truly believe that Senator Bernie Sanders is the right man to lead this country. And I believe it because he... I believe it because he, unlike any other candidate, said, I would like to restore the Voter Rights Act. He, unlike any other candidate, said, I wish to end this illegal war on drugs that disproportionately targets minorities and poor. <laughs> unlike any other candidate in my life, he says that education should be free for every citizen of this country. Now, now, I only have a few minutes, but as I read the Atlanta Journal and Constitution's comments about me speaking tonight, one jumped out at me and it broke my heart. It says, I don't listen to rap and I'll no longer be listening to Bernie Sanders. And I just want to say that whoever wrote that, before I was a rapper, I was the son of Atlanta. Before, before I ever wrote one rhyming word on paper, before that, I was a black man in America. And... And before I ever learned how to dance a jig, I gave a damn about American politics. I gave a damn about the people of America and I took to the streets and I advocated. So, I know I'm preaching to the choir tonight. I know there are not a lot of voices of dissension out there. I know I'm preaching to the choir, but I'm here to tell you, stay encouraged, stay invigorated, stay bold, stay confronting bullshit at every turn. Make sure that wherever you go, make sure that wherever you go, you take the name, the ideas, the philosophy, and the ideology of Bernie Sanders there, and you make sure when you leave, they are on fire because they have felt the burn. I have, I have a line from one of my raps and I'm gonna get out of your way. I have said in many a rap, I don't trust the church or the government, a Democrat, Republican, a Pope or a Bishop or those other men. But after spending five hours tonight, 
after spending five hours with someone who has spent the last 50 years radically fighting for your rights and mine, I can tell you that I am very proud tonight to announce the next president of the United States, Senator Bernie Sanders. Everyone give him a round of applause.